Goodbye. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gomorrah. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. The fuck are you looking? Whoa, simmer down. Head over to Brimstone. I'll have him find you there. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? I banged Lot's wife and licked a salty ass. The fuck do I look like? I'm the one asking the questions here. Now tell me why you've been dropping my name before I get some muscle over here and we find a private place to talk. Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. Joanna, that bitch spreading lies about me. I've got a lesson to teach her about loose lips. You again. Later. Your merchant friend would make a fine NCR woman. Let me know. What the fuck is that thing? I'm glad they don't just let any motherfucker through the gate. Freeside smells like shit. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up at this great room. Goodbye. Mora is always open for business.
Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. Find yourself a girl, or a guy. Have some fun. Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. Damn, do I love this place. You again? What the fuck do you want? Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? I can't stop you, but that's gonna mean my death. I can make it with you a while to give it to me, though. Plus, if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. Alright, alright. I can't stop you, but I think we can help each other out. I know not at home in the NCR would be happy to get some dirt on the family. I can help you get that dirt, and you got me by the short hairs. Hey, hey! Yeah, I hope you're looking to do some business with me. I think it could be mutually beneficial. I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning, maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. Right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking or gambling. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Okay, toss him at me. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay. 
No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Welcome back to Gamora. Find yourself a girl or a guy and have a drink. Your family. Bitter Springs. A name like that could have only brought bad luck. I've never seen a robot like that before. Back again. A hundred caps, no kissing, no rough stuff. Hmm, I don't know. Doesn't that mess you up? Well, if you know what you're doing, okay. You show me a good time, and I'll return the favor. Back again. A hundred. We can go right over here, baby. What are you looking at? Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. I hear you've been making some waves around here. There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. You've been Hello, and welcome to... I hear you've actually been inside, Lucky 38. You're the first person who's been in there in as long as anybody can remember. Depend... Troik spends all his days down in Zuara, on the lower level. And I fuck with our power. Holy shit. You've been in Lucky 38. You meet the overboss in there. Welcome to Gamora. How can have a
Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo. And whiskey. Be sure to check out the courtyard. Find yourself a girl. Or a guy. Have some fun. Be sure to check out the courtyard. Some of the hottest asses in New Vegas shaking out there. Bosses don't like no trouble. There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. They better not fuck with our power. Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. I don't see how that's your business. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel like any other night. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. I keep a little switchblade tucked away with me. You never know when you might find some trouble. All right, have at it. That night, mostly buff out, I like to cut it with a little bit of jet and wash it down with some whiskey. That was my standard Saturday night. What? Yeah, you're right. I wonder what was up with that. What do you want to talk about? Cachino? Cachino what? Are you kidding me? He must be trying to get me killed. Yeah? Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number and I'm a company man while they got the goods on me. More power to you if you can, but keep me out of it. I've been doing business with Big Saw, so he's going to be your man. You again? Make it cool. Good yeah. Great. So I'm fucked either way. I guess I don't have any choice but to help you. Just try not to get me killed here. They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the Strip. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. 
As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Hey, fuck you. Alright, I'll place the fucking thermite myself. You get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. Give me some time. I'm going to deploy the thermite. Welcome back to Gamora. Find yourself a girl or a guy and have a drink. Let me know if the pretty lady with you is looking for some work. Good to see you again. Hope you're winning some money in here. Kachino. Yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? A little bit of this and a I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I'm glad they don't just let any motherfucker through the gate. Freeside smells like shit. What the fuck is that thing? Let's distribute the weight.
Welcome back to Gamora. Find yourself a girl or a guy and have a drink. The NCR seems your family not. too happy about losing their little train. Hello. the pretty lady with you is looking for some work. There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. Hey, what can I do for you? All right. Oh, is that so? Well, I can't say that I'm sad to see that fucker gone. Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. As long as they're alive, they can start up their plans again. All you've managed to do is stall them. I guarantee you they have contingencies. They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They task me to find out who's responsible. There isn't gonna be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. All right, I'll take care of them. Just give me the word when to start shooting. When they're gone, I'm gonna run this joint. Don't worry, I'll take care of this place. Hey, what can I do for you? You better get outside for a little bit. I'm sure they're gonna look for the infamous courier when things go to hell. Holy shit, you been in Lucky 38? You meet the overboss in there? Welcome back to Gamora. I know you'll get these back on. Business is good. All the family's got money. Of course, Gamora is where the animals. Glad I left the outpost behind. Your merchant friend would make a fine ins- Hey, I'll take care of them when you're ready. Just say the word. I suggest doing it while they're talking. Let's have some words. On. Take a seat on the couch so we can get to talking. Take a seat on the couch. Take a seat on the couch, please. So we can have a little talking time. A little talk. So I assume you know why we called you here.
Yeah, clan will be hard to replace, but not impossible. We'll find contractors just like them, without breaking a sweat. Are you shitting me? You didn't even know what the plan was. Yeah. As a last request, I guess we can give you that courtesy. Caesar asks us to provide a distraction on this trip, so when he gives the word, we're gonna launch an all-out assault on this trip. First, we're gonna blow the embassy, then we're gonna use soldiers to kill every last motherfucker on this trip. Then we'll run this joint. That'll teach not at home what can go on while he sits in his fucking ivory tower lording down from on high. The fuck? I knew there had to be someone higher up helping you. Nero, you backstabbing, two-timing motherfucker. I knew this day would come. Yeah. Hey! Had enough? Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. I'm gonna run a tight ship here, don't you worry. Of course, after all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play, have some fun. Bye. Damn, do I love this place. Holy shit, you've been in Lucky 38? You meet the big man in there? I hear you've been making some waves around here. Things are good since Kachino took over.
Holy shit, you've been in lucky... Thirty-eight? You meet the overboss in there? Things are good since Cachino took over. Hello, and welcome to...
Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. See ya. Look, friend. Look, friend. Don't get near me. You're too well respected for my business. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. You're a model citizen. Thank you. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? I hope you've returned with good news. Are they willing to help the NCR? Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that will be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. It's good to see such an outstanding citizen of the NCR. What can I do for you, my friend? So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? I'm inclined to agree, but it's a slum with NCR citizens in it. And as such, it falls under my jurisdiction. Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. I'm not a violent man myself, so I had our guys come up with an alternate solution on the off chance that our agent-to-be shared my sentiments. In that case, we could take a different tact, but one that I at least have more experience with, diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The Kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang, a man who calls himself the King. 
Go and talk to the king. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk, but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. Do whatever it takes. When it's done, one way or the other, report back here and we'll take it from there. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Well, hello there. What a coincidence finding you outside the Strip. You should have paid your dues, but no, you had to play hard, huh? Now it's our turn. Nobody fucks with the NCR and lives to brag about it. You're dead, punk. Watch, Watch out. out! Whoa! Ah! Ah. Yes? See? That's exactly the type of information we can use. In fact, that's perfect. Those fancy weapons the Van Graffs pedal aren't exactly common. It goes without saying that actually getting the Van Graffs to do the deed would be the ideal solution. However, if Pacer were killed with either a laser or plasma-based weapon, everyone would automatically assume the Van Graffs did it. Still, unless you want several dozen armed men at your throat, you'd have to kill them without being seen. Be careful. I'll leave the method up to you. However, there is an alternative if you'd rather try to handle things without bloodshed. Ah. Good. Hey. We won't go quietly. Welcome to Vegas. Behave yourself. Staying long.
Let's deal. <laughs> 